How you doing? This is Ian Hart from BackPainReliefForLife.com and we're going to be speaking about reducing inflammation and this is number two. So again, if you reduce inflammation, you're going to reduce your back pain. So ice can be very helpful in reducing inflammation and if you don't apply ice within the first 24 hours, the chances of it having any effect are very limited or almost none. Your recovery process by applying ice within the first 24 hours is going to be about 50% faster than if you didn't put ice on. So 50% faster is a lot longer, a lot quicker. So say you were going to be injured and you didn't put ice on and it lasted two weeks. If you put ice on in the first 24 hours, it'll only last a week. So that's just one example. So you should put the ice on for five minutes and then take it off for five minutes. That will just adapt the body. You'll start to feel the pain of the cold of the ice and then put it back on for 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is optimal. So it's gotta be more than 20 minutes, but less than 30. The research shows that 20 minutes is optimal. More than 30 minutes is gonna have no effect. So there's no point in leaving it on that long. You can also repeat this process a couple times throughout the day. It's gonna help as well. So. Reducing inflammation, this is number two, ice, and this is Ian Hart from Relief for Life or backpainreliefforlife.com.